we spent most of the morning here because uh, this story came out uh, that, you know, as Florida goes, this may it might make it a short night, but black men uh, could very well carry Florida and, and, and particularly other states, but in particular Florida. But um, these young black men, for the most part, <clears throat> They, they are they, they, somehow it's being communicated to them that they either need to support Trump or they need not vote. And I just need you, one who look, you know, you ha, you know how the system works. You know how this game is played. To just talk to these young brothers uh, for for a minute or so. Well, let me just say this. Uh, you're absolutely right about many of these young uh, men, these young black men, not really understanding how the systems work and what we have done to improve the systems. If I was not on financial services, and Nidia Velasquez was not on financial services, the big restaurants and hotels would have gotten away with getting all of this PPP money. Because we're there, we were able uh, to, number one, spot it and to come up with the supplement that was needed in order to get that money out into our community to many of our small banks. And we still need to de- do more with that. If we were not there, we would not be able to even talk about rental assistance and assistance to homeowners who have these exotic loans loans and predatory loans that they should have had in the first place and ways by we are getting forbearance for them so that they won't lose their homes and they will able be able to get loan modifications after years forbearance. They don't understand any of this and they don't want to understand it. They think somehow if they are going to support Trump, Trump that they're going to realize some big sums of money that's going to come to them through yeah. some damn proposals that they're going to present and they're going to be taken care of and they're going to be able to manage all of this money. They are crazy. They're not going to get a dime from these people. They don't even know how to put together the right kind of proposals to even be considered uh, in this way that government works and how you have to get through the House and the Senate and all of these committees, even in order to get to the president to sign something, and he's not going to sign a darn thing to them. He's a racist. He does not have any appreciation for black people and black women in particular. He's talked about it so bad. He talked about John Lewis so bad. He talked about Cummins so bad. He has no respect for us. He's not doing anything for us. And for those black young men who think somehow they can align themselves with Trump, Trump, not only are they terribly mistaken, any of them showing their face, I will never, ever forgive them for undermining the possibility to help their own people and their own communities. It is absolutely unconscionable. It is shameful. But if they would spend some time with us, we would help them to know what we're struggling for and how they would be able to help us in this struggle. They don't send anything to, you know, any of the social media about helping us in what we're doing. I mean, I guess it's all right to talk about, you know, how many cars you got. It's all right to talk about women, et cetera, on all of these platforms. But when are you going to join with us to talk about how we save all of our black banks? Mad Maxine, why you mad? Ah ha, ah ha. Look, you think talking down to us is gonna make us fucking listen to you? Stupid. And, and are you fucking crazy? All this shit. Oh, we saved the black banks. What if those black banks was out there robbing black people too? You ever stop and think about that? You think just because they a black bank, they wasn't out there trying to get some of that funny money? Fuck out of here. You probably got some business in these black banks. That's why you're trying to save them. I know what's up. I know an old hustling motherfucker when I see him. Fuck out of here with this bullshit. This is amazing how they just, they can't help but to talk down to you. And it's, it's killing them right now. It's killing them. They know that black men are responsible for their downfall right now. And she mad. She can't really come out and just say, oh, fuck you little stupid ass niggas. But that's, the, that's essentially what she just said right there. She basically said, you know, we crazy. 
we stupid, we don't understand shit, we not gonna get what we expect, or we, we think we gonna be getting rich and all this crazy shit. Wait, you think Trump promised us all Bentleys? That's what you think, Mad Maxine? You think we gonna get all, we, we gonna be riding high in Bentleys after the election, right? Like like Oprah audience? Talking about, you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. Ah, you stupid. You fucking stupid. You think you gonna win like this? You crazy. And, and it's too late for you anyway. We just, I don't know what else to tell you. This whole thing about pressing down the black male vote, wrangling back in the black male vote. I'm sorry, you lost. We out of here. Listen, I'm sorry, ladies. You can do the whole Democrat Party thing by yourselves. A lot of black men are going to try new options. And thanks for listening. It's the Hood Servative. Do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out of here. Peace.